How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, this video is going to be very short. I just wanted to get this out here um, because I know most people are um, they are customizing their launchers themselves. So I just wanted to have this quick conversation when when you're sizing or when you're buying barrels for your less lethal launchers. Um, we're talking. We're going to be talking about ammo, by the way. I only have this one here. Well, this is the jewel round, the HP sixty eight, and the red breaker ball. These this, these are four grams. I have black riot balls. Uh, they they are three point six grams, uh, but I don't have it on the table because this one and that one is the same exact size. But um. Yeah, I wanted to talk about barrels when you cuz not a lot of us talk about you know, when you're buying barrels, how to go about buying a barrel. Uh, paintballers know what I'm talking about here, but some do not. Some of us or some of you guys do not. So when you're buying barrels, you want to buy yourself one of these. This is a paintball sizer. It's for the balls. And if you, you see all those numbers, those are the different sizes of barrels. Now, there there is different ones. Um, some of them have, uh, you know, this one has 679, 0.682, 0 0.664. Some of them come 0 0.680, 0 0.683, 0 0.685, you know, 0 0.666. So you, you got to look at which one you're buying. I got this one from a long time ago. Um, but yeah, you want to get yourself one of these because if you measure these with a caliper, that's all good, but you're not going to be able to, it's not going to tell you what barrel to get. If you know what I mean. So like I'm going to, let's, I'm going to use these two for, for example, both of these, are Grimberg rounds. And this is the HP 68. This is the jewel round. Now, I don't know if someone, if anybody else is having this issue, uh, please leave it in the comment section below if you are. But this is a 686 round. I, I use a 6.686 barrel on this, right? Now, as you can see here, there's not a 686, but I can use the 687. And as you can see, it fits but it fits a little you know tight but it does work with the 686 barrel right now this one on the other hand does not fit as you can see not even a little bit it does not fit now even if i use the 689 right here 6.689 it goes through a little bit, but it has to be like really pushed in there, right? So I would use the six eight, the six nine one, because it's a little bit looser. Now I don't know if anyone else is having these problems with the jewel rounds. Well, it's not even a problem, but you know, the six nine one barrel would fit perfectly for this one. So what I I use my stock barrel on this one because it's, it fits it perfectly. The stock barrel to my FSC and to my Blizzard fits it perfectly. Now for th this one, I don't really use this. My Blizzards are first strike ready, but I really don't use this one on the on the on the first strike on on the Blizzard because. Um, I don't have the first strike springs or the the shape projectile springs on those magazines, so I usually use these two on on the uh, blizzards, the blizzard rifles. I use this one and this one. So my stock barrel of my blizzard, fit, you know, fits this perfectly. Which, if anybody knows, uh, it's the Tipman ninety eight stock barrel. It fits this one perfectly. It fits it nice and snug. And you know it works out pretty pretty good. For this one, I use this one specifically for the FSE. 
this round right here, this the HP 68, excuse me. I use it specifically for the FSC with the 666 rifled barrel from Lapco. And it fits on the 666 barrel with no problems. But as you guys can see, I don't have a 666, so I use the 687 and it fits. So, you know, it works, it works pretty good. But yeah, the main thing is when you guys are buying your rounds or your ammo, whatever you want to call it, before you buy any barrels, get yourself one of these. This makes the process a lot easier. You know, because you just make sure that you stick it. Oh, and this one. This one, I got a 683 barrel. Well, actually, I got a 684 barrel. Because for the blizzards, and I just purchased this, so I don't have, I don't actually have it physically. I bought a, a smooth bore uh, 684 barrel because I could not, for the life of me, find a 683 barrel at all. Not for that one. Um, you know, because I don't, I don't really want to have to buy fins and and all this other stuff. So I wanted to go with a one piece barrel. So I got a 684. I'm going to see how, how good it works out. If not, I will have to piece a barrel together. But these are 682s, not 683s. As you can see, 682. And it fits perfectly. It fits pr pretty good on the 684 as well. You know, you don't have that much of a big space. Now, my... My barrel on the uh, my barrel on the on the Blizzard, the stock barrel is a six nine one barrel. So, and as you can see, you can see the light coming through it. That's why you want to size your barrel because you can you can see the uh, you know the air escapes through there. As you can see right there, right there. Air escapes through there. So this one, as I said before, let me try and fix this here. The 684 barrel, you know, you got a little bit of light coming through it, but not much. It's really minuscule. So that's why I went with the 684. And I couldn't find the 682 either. So there is that too. So yeah, like I said, Get yourself one of these. It'll make your job a lot easier. Just have yourselves a good night. Thanks for watching.